Hello guys, Dr. Carlo Oyer here at ADX Video Pro where you can find lots of little clips on medical education. Just give me five minutes and we will learn together a whole bunch of cool stuff. Well, today I want to do a quick review on a recent article I read at EM News. It's a special newsletter that goes out to emergency physicians. He talked about the diagnosis or misdiagnosis of DVT, deep vein thrombosis. He talks about a case that was published about a year ago of a patient who had a swollen leg and the ultrasound was negative for DVT, but while still in the emergency department, the patient coded and died. Ultimately, the diagnosis was pulmonary embolism. So sure enough, patient did have a DVT despite the ultrasound being negative. Now, ultrasound for the diagnosis of DVT or deep vein thrombosis is very sensitive. It means it picks up almost all of them, but like everything else in medicine, nothing nothing is a hundred percent. If the clinical suspicion is very high, you should go ahead with a better study or ultimately treat the patient empirically for the condition you think they have. Um, so anyway, they talk about that case. So the author of this um, article then talks about a case she had herself. The, pa the doctor's name is Dr. Butt. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dr. Butts. Um, she talks about a patient who came with a swollen leg had a negative DVT ultrasound. So they discharged him with non-specific swelling of the leg, maybe patient put the patient on anti-inflammatories and pain medicine, maybe gave him some diuretics for the swelling, asked him to follow up with his primary care doctor. Come back a week later, and the leg is definitely swollen, it's actually tender to touch, especially on the calf area. So definitely a good exam for deep vein thrombosis. So they do another second ultrasound, which is exactly what you should do. You have a, a moderate clinical suspicion, negative ED ultrasound, the leg is still swollen. You tell them when they're being discharged from the ER, if it's still swollen in five, six, seven days, come back to the ER, we'll do another ultrasound. Maybe that one will pick it up. Well, this one, the ED ultrasound was also negative. However, this time around, the doctor was suspicious enough to say, I still think there's something wrong. I mean, this is just one-sided swelling of the leg. So they did a CT venography. So they did a CT scan, a computer tomography exam with IV contrast to look at the veins of the leg. Sure enough, the patient had deep vein thrombosis. The patient was treated with oral anticoagulation and discharged home without any problems. So in this particular case, it was a delay in diagnosis, but at least it was picked up and properly diagnosed. The problem is, if you or I would be seeing that patient, honestly, after two negative ED ultrasounds, almost all consultants will agree the patient does not have DVT and they need to be worked otherwise. I want to tell you about a case I had. It's not DVT, but actually had an arterial insufficiency problem. This patient came complaining of atraumatic leg pain and his leg would have these episodes where it would become pale and um, kind of numb and tingly. Uh, when I did the exam, he had good pulses. I did what is called ABIs, arterial uh, brachial index. Uh, in the, uh, oh, of course, in the legs, different, but you basically measure the pressure of the circulation of an extremity, proximal and distally, and compared to see how well they're circulating. So I did a vascular study to measure the circulation, and it was normal. But this patient actually had objective paleness of the leg that would kind of come and go with associated pain. So I called the vascular surgeon and discussed the case with him, asked him, should we obtain a CT angiography? Again, a CT, computer tomography angiography, in which we put IV contrast in the arteries, and then we see the blood flow going to the leg. He said if the ultrasound is negative, and they don't have a clot, the ABIs are normal, sure, he might have some arterial insufficiency, but it's not emergent enough. They can be discharged with follow-up. Well, this particular patient uh, had, was having on and off pain for a couple of days, and then all of a sudden had severe sudden pain, went to a different emergency department. He had a completely occluded arterial system to his lower extremity. So ended, ended up having a need for a partial amputation. I don't know if it's midfoot or ankle or, or what, but I was so distraught. This probably happened maybe three years ago now. I was so distraught when I learned this. I said, oh man, I was thinking that. And I even called the vascular surgeon and he told me not to, to worry about doing the other study. Just go ahead and discharge him. So the bottom line, the, the learning point about all this is this. If you're highly suspicious about a diagnosis, the test that you've done 
doesn't entirely rule it out. There's nothing that's 100% in medicine. You should know that. And you should go ahead and do an extra study, get an extra consultation, get other physicians involved. Don't make the decision yourself, especially if you're in the emergency department uh, system. So that's it. Five minutes and under. I hope you enjoyed this Medical Minute education. And uh, we'll see you in the next video of ED Exit Video Pro. Bye-bye.